The Siemens D500 has been one of our most popular models since we began KSA. It, most years, it would be outselling everything else combined, XRF, XRD systems, because these machines are quite simply the most reliable, durable, lowest cost to own XRD systems that you can buy. Um, they produce excellent data on par with anything else, any of the other systems that we have. The data from a D500 is generally right about the same as anything all the way up to the brand new D8s. These systems normally would come equipped with a scintillation counter and a diffracted beam monochromator would be the most common option. That gives you an energy resolution that, that uh, eliminates pretty much everything, down to tungsten L-alpha, um, which is only 400 EV separated from copper K-alpha 1 and 2, iron fluorescence. The diffracted beam monochromator solves basically all of those problems. The only real detriment to the D500 is that it's not nearly as fast as the newest systems with their position sensitive detectors. Now those detectors also have their caveats, th things to watch out for, um, but the D500 fares very well by comparison. This is actually a second generation model. The D500 was made for a very, very long time. The first generation models ran what we would call low frequency, 60 hertz high voltage generators. Uh, at 60 hertz, the high voltage generation circuits need to be very large. All the components become large. Transformers, capacitors, um, in order to, to move from 220 volts AC to upwards of 40, 50, 60,000 volts DC, all of those components become very large. So the entire lower cabinet at one point would have been the high voltage generator. With the Series 2 system, we saw the advent of the medium frequency generator. This system is equipped with a K710H high voltage generator. This is a 3000 watt maximum power uh, medium frequency generator. It operates at 20 kilohertz, just like all of the newest systems. It's exactly the same form factor as all of the newest systems. The entire generator is encapsulated in a drawer that is this dimension from the front to the back of the system. It pulls out on a pair of ball bearing slides, which makes it very easy to service. The oscillating inverter, all of the electronics, it's uh, nothing, nothing uh, surprising in there. Um, these machines are very easy to service because they've separated a lot of the electronics out into individual circuit boards, which makes our life a lot easier keeping these things running in perpetuity. The D500 uses a uh, a leaded glass window, just like all of the other systems, rated to 110 kV. Um, these machines could be run manually. Uh, very few of them were, but they retained the D500 Series 1 manual control panel. Uh, but this is the Deco interface. This is actually where the computer interfaces with the system. So these are run with modern software under Windows 10. Um, controlling the system and collecting data, and we offer a host of options for data analysis. So all of our Jade options, Jade Pro for Rietveld, um, Search Match, or whole pattern fitting, um, all of those options exist for the D500, and the data quality is more than adequate for that type of work. The uh, measuring electronics are compact and mounted in a power supply right in the front. You have access to all of the controls right here on the system. Inside, we have a, a tube stand very similar to the, the D5000, any other system of this vintage. It operates the same X-ray tube, the same Euro-style air insulated X-ray tube that all of the XRD systems on the market even today use, aside from some of the more exotic panalytical options. Um, this is the same tube that everything else runs. Very common. Um, these come in ceramic or glass envelope models. Uh, this particular one is ceramic because it's a newer tube. The base uh, system includes a scintillation counter. As I mentioned, the diffracted beam monochromator is an option, but it's a very, very popular option. The good news is the diffracted beam monochromator can be added later by the user without the need for any type of a service call. The goniometers on these are uh, 500 steps per degree goniometer, which is very good for any type of regular powder diffraction. Um, it's 
very few things that you can't do with a D500. We have a single stage on this one. It's a fairly basic configuration. Um, but the, uh, the same system can be equipped with a rotating stage. So this is a, a synchronous rotation stage. Or an auto sampler. We have 40 position auto samplers for these. Uh, capillary attach capillary stages can be added. Uh, our silicon drift detectors are compatible with these systems. So there really are a range of options. Um, there's, there's very little holding you back with a D500. This is a machine that can definitely grow with you. Most of these are going to come in a theta to theta configuration, just like this one, where the sample and the detector both move, but the tube stand remains stationary. That was the most common way for, for any diffractometer to run, and it is very, a very stable way to operate your goniometer. Uh, some of the later models did come uh, as Theta Theta D500s, and we have those as well if you prefer to have your sample remain stationary. Um, and I always recommend a Theta Theta goniometer if you're going to run a 40 position auto sampler, just because with all the extra hardware and mass, it's kind of nice to keep that stationary, let everything else move around it. The D500 Series 2 added a provision for a uh, primary beam solar slit, which uh, we discussed in another video, dramatically reduces axial divergence and improves the symmetry of our peaks. All in all, the D500 makes excellent scan data. It's capable of very, very low starting angles, avoiding any air scatter with its point detector. We can easily start scans under one degree if we need to. Uh, even with the most common slits, we would start our scans at as low as two degrees with minimal air scatter. It's uh, proven itself to be the most durable machine ever made. We still have these all over the world, and almost every one that was sold that we've ever been involved with is still out there operating just like it was when it was brand new. If you're interested in a durable, reliable machine that's just about the best XRD system that you can buy. Fully refurbished, warrantied, installed, supported, anything you could hope for. Give us a call at KS Analytical Systems. Uh, we're available at 940-453-8786 or on the web at www.ksanalytical.com. We'll look forward to hearing from you.